So welcome in this video. So today we're gonna uh, do a fuzzing on a Python package uh, using Python fuzz. So Python fuzz is a coverage guided fuzzer for Python, so for Python packages. Um, it's uh, really easy to use. Uh, it looks like uh, libfuzzer, but for uh, Python packages. So uh, you have um, Python first is accessible at this um, this link. So uh, as you can see, the first target is uh, really simple. You just need to uh, determine uh, import which uh, function uh, will be targeted during the fuzzing uh, process. You define a first function. Uh, you do a try. Uh, catch, try, accept, and you uh, specify which errors are like the uh, usual errors you can have, and uh, you have uh, a main uh, function that will call the, the first uh, function right there. Pretty simple. Uh, it will use coverage uh, and so on, so uh, really, really, really easy to, to use. So uh, first of all, we're going to install Python first, so it's already installed on my machine but let me show you you just need to do like a pip3 um, so i'm using python3 pip3 install python first so everything is uh, already satisfied so that's uh, perfect um, i already created the first target but uh, i'm gonna show uh, you uh, which will be the target and how to handle that so the target will be um, i took the most downloaded pipi uh, packages and i select the uh, pi asn uh, ASN1, sorry. Uh, so it's this one that I, I uh, select. Uh, I don't know if we get some information right there. So there is a bunch of downloads, like um, more than one, uh, like one million downloads per, per day. So that's pretty um, heavy. So that's good. The project is uh, at this address, so pi ASN1, and you have uh, a bunch of stuff. Uh, it's a, it's a well-known packages for uh, Python, uh, so that's uh, pretty pretty nice. So uh, what we will need is some uh, piece of code, some examples. So of course you already have some stuff right there. Import decode. So uh, we already know that we're gonna use some decoding uh, function, and uh, we will need to specify some uh, uh, ASN one specification. Uh, so um, actually, what I've done, I just googled. Uh, in order to get some uh, example, so I found this one that is uh, Python uh, Py Py IISN one, um, and uh, that was using this specific RFC number. So as you can see, we will also need the Py ISN one modules. Uh, so that's uh, one of the things uh, we will need to import, and uh, we will need to have like the, the decoder for the for the stuff we want to to play with. So we can just see how, how it's used um, right there on this um, on this file. So uh, decoder, decode, robite, ISN1, and we specify uh, which type uh, will be used. So in that case, RFC uh, 2459. Uh, okay, so let's uh, start with uh, the template of Python first. So uh, I provide you the, this template uh, right there. So if we want to do a quick test, uh, we will need uh, first to import the uh, proper uh, libraries. So in our cases, we're gonna need, uh, we are looking for something like that. So we can just copy it, put that right there. It will be the, the piece of code we're gonna uh, target. So we will need this RFC and we will need the decoder uh, stuff. So the RFC was at the beginning, the import and the decoder is right there. So we can just copy past it and we can provide that uh, right there. Okay, so we should have a PySN1 and PySN1 uh, module. So uh, in order to get them, you will need to have um, to, to install them using a pip. Uh, so a pip three uh, install uh, pi isn one okay it's uh, already done and uh, we need the pi isn one module so this one as well and it's perfect it's already done for me uh, as well okay good so the last thing you need to handle is uh, this uh, so there is an accept error so it's all the errors that will be generated by um by the pi uh, isn one package package if you don't know which one uh, you will get something you can do is directly comment everything right there and run the further you will directly trigger some bugs 
and uh, that will be okay uh, we forgot to um, the argument will be buff so and not uh, row byte so we're going to provide buff uh, at this position so we can uh, give a try so it, it will be test.py uh, so let's try this one and uh, we will actually run directly the further and you will see we'll uh, automatically crash because we will generate some uh, exception so um, let me uh, what is the common line? It will be uh, actually I provide you a piece of note. It's it. Uh, so as you can see, that's the one I create. So uh, really similar. And the uh, yeah Python three yeah just Python three and the stuff and it will work well. Test the py. Okay. So as you can see. Um, Everything was crashing directly, and it's because we are triggering this error. Okay, substrat under run error, and uh, uh, actually uh, uh, Python fuzz is storing the crashing uh, sample. So in that case, it's just empty byte. Okay, so we have some errors. So uh, ideally, what you will uh, looking for is um, which like main error classes will be provided in Python uh, in Python ISN one. So you can take a look at uh, directly at the source code, and you will find out the error.py. And as you can see, there is a classes named uh, ISN one error, and these classes will be uh, used um, and will be um, like it's a base exception classes uh, for the other one. So we're going to take that and you will need to uh, import um, it will be right there like that and we're going to use uh, that later so let me just put that at this position we have this RFC so this one is not needed and uh, we're going to uh, handle all those uh, exceptions um, if you uh, want um, an example uh, we just triggered this one it was the substrate under run error so let me just use uh, and catch this one and uh, we're gonna run the feather again and it's gonna uh, fail on another one so uh, he's not happy with this one. Oh yeah i forgot to import it right there okay and it's crashing again and in that case it's the pi s and one error so uh, another one okay so um we can just remove that use the global error uh, classes and we can run the further and as you can see there is some uh, stuff happening we have the coverage evolution right there it's the uh, first column we have the uh, size of the corpora the second column and we have the uh, execution speed and uh, that's pretty much all okay that's the most interesting part uh, also something really interesting is to take a look at um, the uh, option uh, that you got if i remember dash uh, yeah dash h we have um, the directory so that's uh, something really interesting to do uh, if you want to keep trace of all the corpora that will be generated by uh, python first so uh, interesting in that case you have some timeouts uh, you have the uh, memory oh yeah i forgot to mention the memory usage so uh, you can also have some uh, bugs that will uh, like do like memory exertion so in that case it's uh, really interesting to uh, to set up the the memory limit to something um, proper uh, and it's pretty much all i will say it's the main uh, information right there so as you can see uh, so on the cheat sheet i provide you everything uh, every command that you need and the piece of code is this one really simple and uh, really efficient i mean i'm not triggering any bugs right now but uh, something that can be uh, really interesting to do is to change the rfc that we are targeting so in that case you can see that we are targeting the rfc 2459 um, but actually uh, you have um, i think it's right there yeah, on the Python uh, ISN1 module, you have a bunch of RFC and uh, yeah, it's on this uh, repository. And as you can see, there is really a bunch of them. So you can uh, maybe just choose one that uh, that fits and uh, and give a try and try to, to, to play with it. Uh, if we take, for example, this one, you can see that uh, there is some uh, specific classes that will be defined. Um, so that's the idea. You just take a RFC that is um, interesting for you. And you will just need to replace 
uh, so the in the import radar change the RFC uh, number and uh, you will also need to change the, the type the, the type of values that you are providing to the decoder and that's pretty much all okay so as you can see uh, really straightforward and I hope uh, it was uh, interesting um, and uh, you have all the links uh, on the on the description and on the associated to this uh, video thank you